Hi, it's Max, and today I want to show you how to create logos with Midjourney. I managed to create some really cool logos like this one, this one came from Midjourney, this one also, this fancy one, this one with the cool polar bear. With Midjourney you can make amazing logos, but the text is not good yet. In this video I will show you how to create amazing logos and also how to finalize them with the correct text in Canva. I'll start the Midjourney with the correct settings. So we are sure everything is set up to go to make logos. So I just do slash settings. And here there's a couple things you want to watch out for. You want to make sure that you have MG version four selected. So you have the newest version of Midjourney. It makes the best logos. Base quality and style matte is fine. Regular upscale also. And you can select remix mode if you want to make some changes on the go. That's always nice. So I just press here and dismiss message and it'll go away. So let's just try something out and create the first logo. I want to create a logo for energy drink right now. So slash imagine. And let's just type that. Let's just try out logo for energy drink. We didn't give it any instructions yet. Midjourney doesn't know if you want a certain style, if it needs to have a white background. St stuff like that. So let's see what it creates. Okay, it is ready. Let's see how it looks. It kind of just created the advertisement for the energy drink because we have a logo on the can, but it's actually the whole can. That's not what we want. We just want the logo. And also you see that mid journey, yeah, we know it. it has problems to create letters. So if we make a logo, we have to fix it ourselves after, or we can choose to make a logo without any letters. Let's see if we can change the prompt a bit. So we only get the logo for the energy drink and not with the whole can. So again, I do slash imagine logo for energy drink. And now here's where we're gonna change it up. You can add Vector and Vector normally is what designers use to create logos and share with each other. And actually let's also add on white background. So we really have a logo on a white background. Hopefully now it understands that we only want the logo and not the whole image with the can included. It's finished with the logo on the white background and the vector. Okay, yeah, the letters we don't have to look at, but they, they look pretty, but still we have the can going on and that's what we, we don't want. So maybe what we can do, we're gonna add brand in front and maybe also something that you want if you want a thunderbolt or a heart or whatever. Something like that. So we're gonna do, I'm gonna type Thunder in front. Thunder logo for brand of energy drink. On the white background vector. So now it knows what we want in the logo. We want the Thunder Strike. It's a brand of energy drink. So maybe it doesn't include the whole energy drink. So this one's finished. It's not what we wanted because we still have the whole can going on. And I tried a couple more. I tried the on white background simple and we're still getting the can. I really do like, I mean, it looks very cool. They all look just like brand shots, you know, that you can see on advertisements, but it's not really only a logo. And now because we are not getting the right result, we have to add some other things. And I added letter form logo for energy drink brand called Zenith. And the letter form logo that says like, okay, we want only the letters. Finally, we got some nice logos, right? So this is like a nice, image that if you add the text of the title here, you have a nice logo. But maybe we try it one more time and we ask for it on a white background. The new one is finished. The simple factor letter form logo for energy drink brand called Zenith with white background. And this is more like it. Okay, the letters are not correct because we know that Midjourney cannot do it so well. But here we actually have like a nice logo with a can and a Z and below we can put the name. I want to try for a different kind of brand because a lot of people are using Midjourney now to sell on Etsy or sell on other places their art. So let's try something like that. A logo for a clothing brand called Leafy. And in the end, we're gonna do artistic. This should be something totally else. This time we're not gonna get a can or we're not gonna get a t-shirt with a logo on it. Hopefully we're just gonna get the actual logo. Yeah, and this already looks more like it. This is pretty. Let's see how it looks, the logo for the clothing brand Levy. This is cool. These are like nice logos that you actually can see on a print of a brand. The only hard thing here is if we want to chase it, we cannot really change the name here. You really have to be a good graphic designer. And we're gonna try one more while we wait for that one. The prompt 
a logo for clothing brand Levy without text is ready. We got some nice results again. And this time it still added the text, but we're kind of lucky that this one is below. We could take this one and just add the actual Leafy name. Here we have the other one, Symmetrical. This has a nice one. I really like this logo. Yeah, there's definitely some useful ones. That's the thing. If you're creating mid-journey logos, you have to keep trying. Try make new ones. Go on until you get the one that you need. So I want to try one more Leafy logo. And this time, instead of artistic, I'm going to use simple. And here, if we look at the artistic one, you see that the leaf is very artistic, many colors like painted. And now the one that is was simple is finished. It's fancy, it's, it's a different style. Once you add simple, you get some nice logos that you can really change the name from in, in Canva, which I will show later. A logo for web design service called Create. And I looked up a couple famous designers for logos and I found Paul Rand. And this guy created a lot of big logos that a lot of people know, including the IBM logo. So this time I'm gonna do Paul Rand. I'm not gonna do in style of, I'm just gonna do like this. So a logo for web design service called Create, Paul Rand, white background. You know what, let's add simple as well. Because I really like the style that you get when you just add simple. We did get some nice, simple logos. I can imagine that this looks like the logos that he created. But we should change it a bit because I want a couple more prompts and see if we can get it better. Maybe without the style that we use this time. And this time I'm gonna add minimalist, white background and the factor. Now we created a logo for web design service called create, minimalist, white background and factor. And this is more like it. This is what I think of when I think web design service. And it just should have a simple logo like this one. And the name we can easily replace. This one is a bit gray on the background, but that is fine. But I think I like this one even the most. So I'm gonna upscale that one. And then after I will show how to change it to the correct name. So these are all a bit more abstract logos, but what if you want a character or something like that? So then we're gonna do slash imagine. And if we want a certain, a bird for instance, as a logo, we're gonna type that. A logo for brand, minimalist bird mascot. And here we go. And here we really got the minimalist bird mascot. This is really cool. And the nice thing from this is we can just upscale it and download it and then add our own name if you want. Yeah, you just have an amazing logo that probably would cost a couple thousands if you wanted to use a logo designer. I like this one. It's simple, clever, I'm gonna upscale it. And then finally, just for fun, I just want to create a logo for my YouTube channel. See if it can create something interesting logo for YouTube channel. I like the minimalist st style, looks very, uh, very cool. My YouTube channel logo is finished. Let's see how it looks. And it created some nice ones. And if you upscale this one, I'm sure it would look amazing. And it's just so much fun to use and to think that for free, you can use all these things. And once you learn a bit of the right prompts and how to use it, you really get nice styles. I'm gonna try one more for the logo for YouTube channel and I'm gonna ask for a certain style. I'm gonna use the same and then I'm gonna ask for 80s style also to see if it can really bring us some lasers and Terminator stuff. The 80s logo is done and how amazing are these? This one looks like a cassette, you know, that it uh, took an old cassette as a logo and I really like this one. I really like the colors. It fits with the AI team, honestly. You add your own style and you get totally different logos. It's so fun to use. But we have the logos now, but with the text, they're not perfect yet. So let me go to Canva, another tool, to just show you how to add the correct letters inside the logo. I created a couple more logos. Here I used the logo for Patisserie Baker, simple, minimalist, and factor. We really got the nice minimalist style that you see in a lot of places right now. So just a circle, and these are very easy to change in Canva, which I will show. Then I also asked for a logo for a new electric car. And the first one really went crazy with the electricity, but also has the, the text that's hard to change. So then I asked for a symbol logo for a new electric car. And here we really got some impressive stuff. Look at this. And okay, these two we cannot really use because we cannot change the text. But these two on the right, they look amazing because you don't have the text to change. It's really a fancy logo. 
and you have the nice electricity that comes with electric car. And the last one that I asked for is a logo for a brand using a polar bear 90s mascot. And look at this, look how cool these are. They are all very different style polar bear. For us, the easiest to use is the right and the bottom because the text we can take out and can't find and we can change it. But this one would also be possible. And I do like this polar bear the best, but if you know how to do Photoshop, you can just cut them out. But that's a bit hard in Canva. So I upscale a couple and then we're gonna go in Canva and see how we can get them ready to use. I downloaded three logos right now. I have here the one from AI. I have the bird so you can see how to just add the simple text next to it. And we have the leaf that is just super fancy that I really like. Once you have your logos, you can go to canva.com. And after you create an account, it's very easy to start. So on the top right, we go to create a design. Here we can choose a couple things. You can do a logo, dock, whiteboard. And we are just gonna do custom size. How we're gonna start is just because the logo often is a square. So we can just do thousand with a thousand and then just press create new design. After that, it opens a second page. And the first thing we do is import the logo that we just created. On the left, you have a couple of different elements, designs, elements, uploads, text, projects. So we're gonna go to uploads and you can press upload files. And then you just go to the folder where you have your logos and you just choose the one that you want to edit and press open. After that, it loads here and you see that there are the three other pictures. And this one is ready and we can just pull it right in here. And the right away is it fits to the right size. So you see here that the size become purple and then it snaps to it. If I go a bit further, I can drop it also, but then I have to resize it to the right size myself. So this one is good and we it's very pretty. But what we didn't like about this one is that the text is not good. What we have to do is take the text and replace it with something else. So what you do is go to the left to text and here on the purple button, add a text box. And you see it just added a little text here. And our brand was called Leafy. So I just type Leafy and I put it down here. So what you want to do, kind of match it up, right? With the existent one. So first of all, we do control or command A to select it all, go to colors, and then you press this, add a new color. And then you click on the little uh, pick a color. You can just choose the green that this text has. So now the text has the same color. So here on the top, you can choose different languages. Just go crazy and try what you, what you like. I think this one would fit nice with this logo. And I'm gonna make it a bit bigger here on the top, maybe 40. I'm gonna pull it out of the way and we have the text, but now this is still here. So what we do is you go to elements and you can select a shape. So now I'm just going to select a square and you see that it's a wrong color. So when you have the square, you go to the color in the top. And again, we're going to use the color picker and we just select the color. That's the background of this one. As you see, I can already just put it over. And when you click somewhere else, it goes away. But you see, it's not perfect because there's a little bit of a gradient on this picture. So maybe I'm just going to make it a bit smaller. So it is not as extreme. I'm going to copy paste to put one below to cover this final letters here in the bottom. And this is just, you have to play a bit with it that it's, you know, the right size that it, that it covers it all. Here, there's a tiny bit on the right that I want to cover. Yes, so now I can just take my text and you see that this bottom one is on top of the text. So you can right click it and click on send backward. And now it's below the text. And look at this, now we have our logo with the correct text and we didn't have even have to be professional logo designers or anything. What you do after you have this ready, you can press on share and you can either copy link and send to your phone or you can download. And if you press download, you just can select which file you want. PNG is highest quality. JPEG is a bit less quality, but smaller size. And then you just download it and you have your own logo just like that. So I want to try it out with one more. I'm gonna just press add page. So I have a new page and I'm gonna go to uploads again and upload file. 
and I want to show you how to use the same tool when you only have a logo like from the bird. So I select that one and I pull it in here. And now you see that I didn't make it the full size and that's exactly what I want. Because what I'm gonna do is the first thing that you do is you go to elements and you're gonna make a square. And this square, we're gonna make the same background as this one. So again, to the color picker, on the plus sign, on the little icon here, and just select this color. Now this is the same. Now this square, we can just create all over the back. So it fills the whole background. And now we cannot see the bird anymore. So right click and send to back. So it's all the way on the bottom. The bird is not in the center, but we can do it more on the left and we can add the text to the right. So on the left, you click on text, add a text box. And this was for a company for create, I believe. So I'm just gonna call it create. And this has to be way bigger, of course. Maybe we do it 80. Yeah, there we go. When you see this little line, this dotted line, you see that it's in the middle of the bird, of the picture next to it. So I think it needs another font. So just double click and just look until you find something that fits. As you see, you have, you have so many options. You're probably gonna get lost in all the options that are there. I like this one, it's simple, not too bad. But we see that the colors are not yet matching. So I'm gonna double click select and i want to give this one of the colors that this one has as well so i'm going to do this one the color picker and either yellow or the blue i think the blue fits better with the background and just like this you have our own logo with the correct title and just a nice icon and of course you can mix it how you want you can put the bird on top and again move it until you have the middle line and you can put the text below and just like that, you create your own logo. And here the same, you just press share in the top, download. And this time you see because of two pages, you see that you can select something here and can either download both pictures or you can just select the one that you just created and press done and download. I had a lot of fun figuring out this logos in mid journey and creating just amazing stuff. I didn't know I could create these logos like this. And with Canva, it's so easy to finalize it that you're almost a professional logo creator. I will make a lot more videos about AI tools and what they can do. So if you like this one, please subscribe and you will not miss my next video.